with you, Sheremina. You're going down. Evan, right. I need your help. What do you mean? You can, Don't worry about it. Please. You did save my life after all. Right. You know, I'll, I'll call him. Charlie, um, Charlie's working on something. Oh. I need your help. All right. Uh, here, okay. let me call Austin. Bye. Talk to you later. Hey, Austin. Yes, Chris? Charlie, uh, he needs your help. Taking down Sheremita. You take him down Sheremita. You in? Yep. After what he did to us. Right. See you in a bit. Count me in. Sweet revenge. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Okay, so wait. Charlie, right, since you're the oldest, I think you should take it. I think you should, you know, spearhead this, this well, our revenge program. I think you're right. Evan, what do you want to do? Whatever Charlie wants to do. You're gonna go get us some snacks. I'll get us some snacks. Here. We're gonna get some snacks. Snacks. Okay. You're gonna drive us to the place. Okay, I can do that. You're our driver. I'll do that. You're gonna get us the money. I can do that. You? You're gonna, you get, you're gonna get anybody who gets excuse, <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. You have the most important job of them all. What? Relax and enjoy the show. <laughs> Smile right Charlie. ripped off his face. The vending machine's broken. Oh, again. Sorry. Go to Walmart. Okay. <sighs> about something. Yeah. What's up? I don't know how to drive. And whose car is this? Once I hit this big red button, I will erase the leaderboard and be the last Laker. No, I'm the last Laker, Charlie. No, I'm the last Laker. No, that was the last Laker. I'm the last Ah, oh, man, oh man. Life sure is sweet now that I'm a college grad. Feet up in Turks and Caicos, no more WTOP 10, and surely no one will call and interrupt my peaceful vacation. Oh, oh. Ah, uh, just as expected. Dylan! What's going on, man? Cheramito, dude, this is bad. Dude, what do you mean this is bad? I'm in Turks, man. I'm in Turks. College graduate. What do you mean this is bad? No, no, dude. I mean, like, 
the last Laker. Yeah, Dill, I'm not understanding because we put on a great show last episode. People loved it. I got to see Scott Brubaker eat ketchup. I got Chloe Sienna to come to WT for the per first time in like a year. And Charlie Harkins, he lost the whole thing. It's great. It's great. Come on, what are you talking about? No, man. That's the problem. It's Charlie. He couldn't handle his loss. He got some of the other losers together, and they deleted the scoreboard. Everything's all jacked up. How, how did, no, 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 don't, 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 that's impossible. Even so, can we just lie to everyone at home? They don't, they, don't, they don't need to know, they don't need to know. I'm afraid we can't do that. He's already posted about it on Twitter, and we all know how oh. Charlie is on Twitter. Oh, oh, no, that's, yeah, that's bad. Uh, I'm in Turk still. I, I, maybe I could call my boy Skinner. He's, he's got the tele-telephone. Maybe I can call him, but. I don't care uh, what you do, but you have to make it back here. I've already got a crew together, and we got to go. I'll see you in a little bit. Knowing what to watch, so you just kind of sit there and wallow in self-pity. Well, try watching The Last Laker. 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 This Wednesday at 7 p.m. Hosted by Matt Sheremita, only on WTOP. Would you like to try snacks from faraway lands? Or snacks with bizarre flavors? How about snacks in new ways? Or snacks you've never tried before? You don't have to go far to find these snacks. They can all be found here at Snacks on West First Street. Yeah, we're walking around campus, and what do we see? All these clubs are looking. They looking for me. There's hockey. There's improv. So much to see. So let's go try them out and see how they be. Come on and please watch our embarrassments free. Tune in to amateurs on WTOP. Happy Friday, Lakers, and another beautiful day here in Oswego, New York. I'm DJ Don Perone, and I'm happy that you're starting your weekend off right listening to WNYO 88.9 FM. The Laker Radio Network. I said, darling, can you see? There's no room for us. There's no room. Never lies are cheated. Oh, thanks to Ryan Skinner, we made it, and welcome back to the series finale of The Last Laker. I am your host, Matt Sheremita. Now, because of the whole leaderboard thing, we got to start things from ground zero, meaning that tonight, anything can happen. We are going to send things outside here in a second in front of Cooper Fitness Center for our first contestant of the night. That's Tug of War. But before we do that, let's check in on two guys that know a thing or two about finales. Oh, hey, Shat. Hey, long, man. Long time no see, man. What are you doing? Oh, just watching, you know, the Seinfeld finale over here, yeah. The finale? Yeah, yeah. Dude, I don't know what it is about finales. You mind if I sit here? Yeah, go ahead, I don't, man. I don't know what it is about sure. finales. Welcome. Whoa. The tear in my eye to the series finale of Lake Night. But they, nobody could ever get them that. This one's a stinker. This one's a stinker. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know what it is. I, I, just a lot of jumping the shark. Mm. Stories don't get concluded. I, I think I hear, I'm hearing in my ear that there's a commotion in the hallway. We got we got to get a camera out there. Somebody get a camera out there. There's something going on in the hallway. What are you talking about? Let's go out. Somebody get a camera out there. Oh, what are you talking about? Stop! 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 I spent every last night. Stop! I spent every last night trying to get it back. No, you don't. Joe.
just when you thought you had all the answers. I changed the game forever. You're forever champ. Just can't condense it down to one good feeling. Can't condense it down. Yeah. Everything's so confusing. It's Here. Let's go. Madeline, real quick. Sorry, I'm getting a phone call. Who are you? I'm Madeline Schmidt. Madeline Schmidt. Here, let me take this phone call. I'm sorry, Madeline. Sorry. What are you? Let me take this real quick. What are you getting? I'm sorry. What are you getting a phone call for? We're in the middle of it. You know. You know what this is for. You know what this is for. What? You know what this is for. You're leaving? I, ha I have to. You know what this is for. Oh, oh my God. Uh, uh, Cassie, uh, tell me. You know, you have so many uh, open questions. And yeah, yeah. Just, you know, makes you wonder what, what the producers, yeah. maybe multiple, were thinking. Bradley, where are you? It's time to end this. Everybody's so alive, yeah. nobody dies. Nobody's getting killed. I don't like awful. shows where nobody gets killed. Looks like late night really is over. Ha! Finally comes to an end and you're like, what did I just watch? Exactly. Wait, I just didn't solve anything. No, I didn't solve anything. You just got a cliffhanger and then it's just done. Well, we can dance if we want to. We can leave your friends behind. No. Yeah, what's the point of watching that? Absolutely. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. It should really go back into the good old days. Just... Black and white, no sound, yeah. just clear cut. And give me what I want as a viewer, you know? Yeah, I think you're cooking a little bit. Yeah. Leave more to the imagination. Yeah, yeah, like the old Charlie Chaplin days, you yeah. know, the, the good old times, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Cadillac Show. <laughs> it's the break of Scott and Haley. Mike and Logan unplugged. Game. It's rigged. It's all rigged. Logan, I can't beat Scott, Natalie, and Kaylee on my own. I need your help. It's time. <laughs> It's going down. It's going down. It's going 
Why are you a part of this, Riley? Are you kidding me, Logan? She's a part of the break. The break with Scott and Haley and not Natalie. Like seven years old. The break with not Natalie. Shut up. Too late. I already spoke. Spoke wisdom, spoke truth. Just because I've got skinny on doesn't mean I have a small brain. I hope. Wait, 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 Guys, it's been a good run. I got three more years left in me, so we're good. Ready. Oh. <laughs> I'm the last Lincoln. He deserves it. It's a good game. I couldn't have made it without you. Oh, oh this guy. We're good. <laughs> yeah. Last Laker right here. Yeah, that's Mike Neckers, everybody, the winner of the tug of war match. And now Mike told me that he was not satisfied with that win. He said I went a little bit easy on him. So tonight you kind of see in front of me, we've got some tenders. I welcome Mr. Mike Neckers, Hello. the winner of Tug of War. And Mike, why don't you explain why we have the tenders in front of us today? So, I believe what we're doing is a, a tender eating contest. Joey Chestnut style. Joey baby. Chestnut style. So I don't, have to, I don't have any water to dip it into, but we're gonna go head to head and see if you can eat these faster. Mike Neckington, I like that. Mike Neckington. Uh, who's that? Fulcrum. Fulcrum. Come here. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, we're gonna eat some. Uh, we're gonna eat some tender, tenders here. I think. Uh, I think I gave us like two minutes to do it, but we got three tenders. Whoever has the most done in two minutes. Oh, I gave us three minutes. All right. Okay. Uh, whoever gave, gets the most tenders finished wins. Yeah, let's do it. All right. I think I'm losing Can the someone in the audience give a countdown? Well, from five? Five, four, three, two, one. This is gonna be horrible. It's so dry. It's so dry. I'm getting the dipping sauce out. Can someone, can someone get me my drink? No, that's not fair. I don't have a drink. No, no, that's cheating. Oh, this is so dry. Kenny, please. Kenny. You have to share with me. No. No. Give him a drink. Give him a drink. Give him a drink. Austin, throw me that oh. water bottle. No, it's not, it's empty. <laughs> Holy smokes here, Mike. We can, we can be cordial. Mm -hmm. Oh. Also empty. So Matt, how you been, man? Um, I've been good. Um, wow, that's a good shot. Um, you know, I graduate here in a, in about four days. Yeah. Um, as one does. Um, that's an exciting feeling. How are you, Mike? You know, I've been I've been good. I had our last episode of Unplugged went really well. I saw. Um, Helping out a lot with senior week, so. Oh, we love to have you here, Mike. I love awesome. being here. I think we're both one tender down here. Yours are much smaller. I'd like to point that out. Can you're you get a, much, a zoom on his tenders? You're a much bigger guy, Mike. Yeah, zoom in. Zoom in. There Look you go. Look at those tenders. They're so much smaller. That's still fair. Zoom in on this. It's ridiculous. All right, we have about a minute 30 left here, Mike. I feel that bad. was one bite of that tender? Mm -hmm. That was crazy. That was so crazy. What can I say? Where's the cheater? I'm not Joey Chestnut, man. Never be Joey Chestnut. Some nice ambient, some nice ambient sound in the back. We got a minute. I'm determined. I'm finishing this last tender. I'm not. <laughs> anyway, Mike. Um, you know I used to work at Tully's Tenders. I did. Can I be so honest with you, Matt? 
I think Tullyage is really overrated. I do too. Okay. Oh, you're getting booed. Wow. Mm. That's crazy. Um, This is crazy. He's cooking, guys. Yeah, no. I used to work there. I don't like their honey mustard, but I'm going to go for it anyway. But, um, I don't know what I can and can't say about the company. Okay, what's your worst? So I might just leave it. I might just leave it as I used to work there. Jeremiah Sparks, I used to work with him too. Basketball guy. Basketball oh, guy. wow. I used to work at McDonald's. Wow. I don't know if that has any real meaning here, but. All right, Mike, one more bite. Mm -hmm. I think you lost anyway. Yeah. It looks like a shrimp. Look at that. That's like a shrimp. Wow. You know you're playing with his food. One bite. All uh, right. Well. Oh wow, I was not right first. Okay, hang on. <laughs> give me, let me, give me a second back there. We're out of time, but I did win. But I want to send this off uh, as a extension of gratitude to you coming on my show. I know we couldn't get your other guest. I don't know if you want to. I can shoot him a call. Okay, if... let's see. If, let's see if we can get Logan Russo on here. But you know, you guys now have one of the. More love shows on WTOP 10. I hope you guys know that. Like, you, yeah. a lot of love towards your way. Hey, and Logan. one of my favorite segments. We got Logan Russo here. Let's stick him up. Logan stick him up Russo. Right here. Say hello. Say get hello. Him on, get him on FaceTime. Get him on FaceTime. We'll stick him up Switching right here. Switching to FaceTime. Switching to FaceTime. All right, Logan Russo. Come, oh, where do you oh. go? Go here. I'll call him on your phone, and you get the guitar. Can, hang on. Can we? He's not answering. Logan. Call wow. back, call back. Try one more time. All right, we'll call him back and we'll stick him up here. But because we're on that, he's, at, he's calling, he's calling, he's Except. calling. I'm, try I'm trying, I'm trying. Is my phone not working? Screw Whatever. Logan, so. All right, let's sing, let's sing. Take it away. He says nice to meet ya. His name's Matt Sheramita. Where can you find him? You find him in the office or at the gym. Mm. The gym is where he'll greet you. If you ask real nice, he'll treat you mm. to a dinner and dessert. Gosh, we love oh, him. Oh, we love you too, Mike. Matt Sheramita. Matt Sheramita. Matt Sheramita, yeah. Who are we talking about? Matt Sheramita. Matt Sheramita. Matt Sheramita, yeah. Matt Sheramita, yeah. Wow. Thank you, Mike Neckers. Thank you. We're going to break. Stick around. Sea levels are rising. The cost of living. It's only going up as the world is coming to an end. But there's only one man who can save us from this. There's only one, Matt Sheremita. I'm Matt Sheremita and I approve this message. Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. to get real.
and it could be your last chance to see one occur for two decades as the next time one will be visible over the continental U.S. He's May 84. Yarrell told police in the hospital that he had pressed the doorbell and waited. They mix with oxygen and nitrogen. They come briefly. Well then, we're gonna oh. we're gonna start here then. Oh, okay. Whoa. Whoa. Um, who are these guys? Ah. Uh, uh, you go first. You go first. Guys, I can't believe that you haven't done this already. But it's time to say hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Um, can we uh, get that full screen up there? I, don't, I know we don't have a graphics option. Let's, let's get that full screen up there. Hi, mom. Screen. Hi, mom. Hey, we can keep going. Um, so hi, mom. Yeah. Hi, mom. Uh, so say I finished uh, packing up for break. I know dad's gonna be up here. Uh, hi, dad, as well. I guess. Uh, <laughs> I'm always remember the dads. But uh, I'm all packed up and I'm ready to go. So I can't wait to see you guys. I can't wait to be home. Uh, what do you got, Jake? Um, hi, mom. Uh, I just finished packing to come home for summer also, and I got some great news. Um, first of all, this graphic is covering me. Second of all, <laughs> um, I found a wand zone under my bed while I was cleaning my room, and, okay, here's the good news. It was still good, at, at least good enough to eat. I don't know exactly what kind of wand zone it was because the meat was a little, you know, it's a little iffy, but you know me, big man gotta eat, so I ate, and it was delicious. I'm gonna actually throw up. You're like the most disgusting person I've ever hey, if the been Tom, with. If the Tomcat's good, the Tomcat's the good. If the Tomcat, if it's good for the Tomcat, it's good for me. Uh, oh boy. Um, hi, Mom. I, uh, I graduate on Saturday. Um, we gotta do snaps, gotta do snaps, gotta do snaps. I graduate on Saturday, um, and I'm leaving a place that I now call home. Uh, and I'm leaving a bunch of friends and people that I made along the way. Um, and yeah, I'm inspired by everyone in this room. I just, I, I wanna thank, you know, everyone here at WTOP10 for giving me this opportunity to do stupid things like this, do my sports stuff on air, and then also just thank a bunch of people that couldn't be here tonight as well. Uh, I'll give them their thanks in person, but thank you also to my mother for encouraging me, watching my shows all the time, and you know, just telling me how to do better, and my dad as well. So thank you, mom and dad. Hi guys, I graduate Saturday, and I needed to add some sort of like senior send-off thing in the show. No, I think it's great. I always think it's great to throw some props to your parents. Uh, they, they helped you get to the place you want to be, so. Yeah. Thank you, thank you to everyone. Able to give props to other OPs, it's kind of the nature of the show. So, just so we could formally introduce you guys, Jake McVeigh and <laughs> Patsy McFeely We've of got some One Too Many. And then yeah. Raina could not be here tonight, but she is also typically on this um, show. She's too busy, she's being an overlord of um, her own dimension, so mm. she's a bit busy right now. A little preoccupied. A little bit. Well anyway, I, uh, I'm getting word that the Great Laker War is still well underway and they're really close to a winner. So we're gonna go, we're gonna head back outside and we're gonna get a check in on the Great Laker War. Hi mom, bye mom. It's been three days since the start of the last Laker War. What started out as a friendly game of assassin turned into full brutality on all fronts. I can't remember the last time I slept. You never know who was right around the corner. Out of food, out of bullets, and right now, out of options. How many more men do we need to lose before Sharmita puts an end to all this? I just know that if I don't find help quickly, I'll be next. I wonder where Austin is. Ryan, 
Yeah, that's me. You're in this? Yep. Oh. Do you have any like extra ammo? Really? I know I know a few people. He doesn't even have a electrical proof. Uh, whatever, whatever. Alright. You I know people. Do you, you want me to take him to you? Or no? Yeah, as long it. as you can get us ammo, yeah. Yeah. Alright, yeah. all name. Alright. What are you doing? <sighs> He's taking a souvenir from the Terminator. These look nice. How do I look, boys? Very nice. Let's go meet these people. Hey guys, I'm here for the class. That's not how I do things, but fine. Fellas, we need darts. Can you do that for us? Sorry, man. Our allegiance lie with Emily and Evan. <laughs> Survive Binghamton together. Not gonna happen. They're already out. What's the point of helping two people who are already dead? We just can't. Loyalties. What can you offer? Hmm. I can offer Ryan here. I mean, like, he's a pretty buff, pretty cool guy. Uh, you know, uh, that's a really nice brick. Uh, you ever notice that one? Uh, um, that specific brick. I yeah, haven't looked like, back a while. All right. Uh, Cheese it! Alright. Next up, the Long Island Python. Long Island Python? You know he already took out amateurs in and from Journey and unplugged. <laughs> and we're next on the chopping block if he isn't taken out now. And can you just imagine how many more shows will be taken out if he stays alive? Yeah. We gotta right. take him out. Let's get right. moving. I'm with you till the end of the line. Oh. Let's go. Oh yeah. I forgot to say something. But Matt told me not to let you guys win. You literally just said you were with us to the end of the line, like not even six seconds ago. Matt Sharamita hired me. It's called the last Laker for a reason. The host hired you? Yeah. Why? I knew it was rigged. <laughs> It was right from the start. I guess. Doesn't mean we're gonna let you win it. Today. He said he wouldn't. Yeah, no. Python, now all we gotta do is go take out Long Island Python and then we're good. You see, right often? The thing is, Chris. Often? Long Island Python's already dead. I got him on the shoes and the thing on the set. Charlie Hartkins. Such a dark image. I'm sorry, I have to go this way. 
back to you too. Not the last Laker. It is the last Laker. Not the last two Lakers. Oh my! Chris, I was joking. Chris, is, he's not actually dead. Oh my God, it was a bit. Oh my! All right, all right, all right. Just pleasure. Chris, stay with you, buddy. Chris, who's gonna enter, who's gonna edit entertainment breach? Me! But it's so much work. Alright, where do I go? Oh, hello. I was just working on a multi-million dollar lawsuit for one of my clients. Now, I know what you're thinking. Share a meetup. A lawsuit sounds great and all, but who am I going to sue? Who can you sue? General Manager Mike Griswold, your VP of Pride, your OP Director, your Assistant OP Director, your Sports Director, your VP of Human Services, your HR and Communications Representative, your DEI Representative that we don't have, Mike Cleland, Michael Rickey, and so much more. The possibilities are endless. How about that teleprompter girl that screwed up our, your script on Nightly News? How about your Nightly News producer, Kaylee Richmond? Or your Nightly News producer, Natalie Barton? How about the VP of Nightly News? The possibilities are endless. But Sheramita, how can I sue these people and institutions? I have no grounds. Do me a favor. Let me answer that question for you in person. Better call Sheramita. I know kids worry about a lot of things. Getting enough food to eat shouldn't be one of them. Through a nationwide network of food banks, Feeding America serves virtually every community in the United States. See how you can help your community. Visit feedingamerica.org. <laughs> Did you know dragging chains can spark a wildfire? Only you can prevent wildfires. Say we're going to Temple University or something. <laughs> coding? Like, what? Where? I didn't realize we were computer science majors over here. What? what is where you are? Wait, Tank. Oh. What was that? What'd you say? 
You know wait, something? Wait, you know do you know something? something? I don't know. I, don't. I think you know something. I don't know. Kenny, why'd you make that noise? What noise? Why are you doing that? <laughs> Goal is to be free. That's supposed to be team. <laughs> Python? Oh. oh. I got some ideas. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Nothing in particular, just to make sure you guys are okay. You gotta stand there, I don't know. No, there's no reason. You guys can go look. Never heard of that. Talking about. It's a lot of reading, man. I'm illiterate, so. <sighs> We're not a good team. Speeds. What do you mean, where is he? He was with you the whole time. No, he time. was with you. No, he wasn't. What do you mean? I walked in there. Hey, and hey, you look were in the eyes you're talking to me. I am. He's ginger. How could you lose him? Well, what about these guys? Where's what Kyle Spizak? Who? Who? Kyle, where did he go? Kyle Spizak. Who's Kyle Spizak? I don't know. He's the redhead. I like the Pittsburgh Penguins. Where is that guy? He likes the Penguins. Dylan. 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 No, no, Dylan. not Dylan. No, I'm talking about Kyle. Kyle Spizak, where Kyle is Kyle Spizak, Kyle Jebediah Spizak. I do not know where he is. Yes, I do. What is it? Kyle Jebediah Spizak. Ah! It's Jason. Jason? Okay. You don't even know Good Kyle Spizak. Good for you. You don't even know Kyle Spizak. I'm still stuck in this last clue, man. Listen, we can get over it. Okay. I'll forgive okay. you. It's a okay. Mohawk thing. Yeah, it's a Mohawk thing. All right. You know, you might know over there. It is. You know where it is? Why is there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's Zach? That's. Who's Zach? Where's Mud? Where's those? Battle Mud. Oh! Oh, Laker connections. Laker connections, yeah. Ben, ben he was right there. He was right next ben, to you. He was ben, right there. Ben, where did he go? He went in the door. He's not in the door. What do you mean? It's locked. Well, he locked it. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Now you know how we feel. It's right the door. 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 Did you check the basketball court? He's always there. Did you check? He, no, he can't get to the no, basketball court. Is he with Jeremiah is, Sparks right now? Is he on the couch? That's a potential is he, is there. Is he on the couch. Hey, Kenny, you were grabbing me when the lights came back on. You scared out. me. What is going on? You scared me. I don't know. 
Are you holding me back because you guys took my friend? No, 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 no. No, I'm tired. Where did he go? Okay. Where did he go? I don't know. I am as confused as you are. What is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, 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 hey! Hey! Don't hurt me, buddy! Don't hurt me, buddy! What is that? What is that? I'm gonna go look for clues. You guys are taking too long. I'm going to look for clues. That's it. Ben. Let's check back there. Okay. Let's go. He's not in the bunk camp. Kenny. He's not behind the posters. What's going on, baby? Maybe, maybe, maybe he's go. like behind the TOP sign. He could be. Let's, let's check. You guys go check. I'm gonna keep checking up here. Zach! Oh, that's good. Because I can't get to the top of that ladder, right? Put a ladder. Yeah, let me hold the ladder. Ah! What was that? Whoa, you guys got Yeah. I'm just trying to check the top oh. of this ladder on this yeah. ladder. I don't see anything up here. But what? We're looking, you're looking okay? for Zach still, right? I got hit. By who? I don't know. It was very dark hey, wait, in there. Wait, wait, wait. Hey. Where? I Where'd Ben go? I walked. Hey, where's Ben? I don't know. Sure. I'm sure? going to keep checking the top of this ladder with this Okay, Kenny, okay. be careful. I got, I, be yeah, careful. I'll, I got the statement for you. Are you. Are you looking for Ben now, right? Uh, yeah. All right. Like, Why would Ben be up there? Why? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. They were trying to. Who were we looking up. for before Ben? I don't. We're looking for Ben, now, right? That's who we're looking for. This entire we're looking time? for Ben. Yeah. Yeah. Where's Ben? I got Ben. Where are we? Oh. Ooh. 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 That is a good That's idea. That's good. Ben dies. Nothing. I think. I think Kenny. The what? What do you mean, me? You were I blaming didn't... me this whole entire wait, time. Wait. Wait. I think... Wait. And now you're just trying to check under the couch like an idiot. What do you mean it was me? I, I don't From the know, first you're the time, one that's been looking in the weird spots. Okay, the weird you know spots. what? Wait, the wait, wait, I will prove my innocence. If he's under this couch, right? Yeah. Yeah. Logically speaking. Okay. If I move the couch, he'll be under it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Drum roll, please. No. Sorry. No choice. Okay. Hey, use the couch. As... What the? What? Hey! Hello? Joyce? Where, where Kenny? Yeah, Brooks. You're done. What? No. Done. It was no. me all along. What do you mean it was? No, it was Kenny. I thought it was Kenny. No, it was me, buddy. Where's? What are yeah, you doing? I know we're on the same show, but it what doesn't the? matter. Come on. Ben, Take a sports man. Speed Zach. Zach. Took a sports. Joyce. You're done, what do you buddy. Mean? No more stick to sports for you. No. You're done. No. Oh. Kenny and Kyle is done. Laker connections. Done. One half a stick to sports. Out of here. It's unfortunate, but they're out of here. I am the only sports talent that deserves to be here on WTOP 10. I'll say it before, and I'll say it again. I'm going out with a bang. There's been an issue with the count for the general manager election. Uh, Kenny Girard will no longer be the next general manager. It is actually going to be Matt Sheramita. Now, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will now open the floor to any questions anyone may have. Mike, Mike, yeah, Mike. Yes, sir. Charlie Harkins from WTOP News. What made you recount the votes? Um, well, I was looking at the spreadsheet um, first glance, I thought it was Kenny, um, and then someone said, actually, it might be Matt Sheremita. I, I voted for him. Everyone's like, I voted for him. I was like, you know what? I, let me let me look through again, and of course, I, I made a mistake, and it's Matt Sheremita. Mike, Mike, Mike. Yes, yes. Chet Larkins, the Oswegonian. Um, who who's responsible for the miscount? I will not take uh, responsibility, honest, so even as someone with only access to the spreadsheet. Um, it was probably Kenny's fault, and that's all. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Wow, what a time. I mean, a lot just happened. I mean, Austin Claus, he wins the Great Laker War, so that's over. The escape room went full, fully out of control. Alex Brooks kind of just took over over there, went out with a bang.
And now it's time for a friendly rendition of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Let's meet our contestants of the night first, Charlie and Matt of the interview show. Guys, why the heck do you keep coming back on this show and who is inviting you? It was a choice to not come back. I came to win. All right. And on the other side, our fifth grade student all the way from Fullerton Elementary in Omaha. Give it up for Jolie Santiago. Jolie, fifth grade. Have you ever done something like this before? No, no, I have not. No, never. <laughs> How are you feeling about your odds tonight, Jolie? Honestly, I feel pretty good next to these losers. Wow, Whoa. already throwing shots from <laughs> the fifth grade. What? All right, we're going to get right into it in the first question. What is the name of the yellow vegetable that is typically shucked and buttered before serving? You Charlie, Matt, do you have me, an answer? Me? You got it. Let me think, let me think. Um, corn, corn. That is the correct answer. Good job, guys. Nice. We'll go on to the next question. What animal has four legs and makes a whoop sound? Charlie, Matt? Matt, 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 Matt you got this one. You got yeah. this you, you love animals. This is your thing. Dog. It is a dog, correct. <laughs> Interview show. You guys are up to nothing. Jolie, though, still a lot of time to catch up. We'll get into our next question. Finish the sentence. Four score and seven years ago, our father's blank. Is that a buzz in from Charlie Matt? Yep. Ready? Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Not thy like kingdom what? come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 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 Not what I'm looking for. What? what? Uh, that was word for word. Jolie, <laughs> our fathers. Um, <clears throat> our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. That is correct, Jolie. Very impressive to get the Gettysburg Address. We'll move into the next Nerd. question. What is the answer to this math equation? Charlie, Matt? 3x minus y equals 12 was the value of x. Uh, x, a, to, a to the x a power. To the x. What are the, hold on. Go, go back, go, go back, back, go back. back. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. That was science, yeah. Uh, two to the y. Oh, see, it's a trick question. D? D? Whenever D? that's an option, that's the answer. Oh, yeah, that's how above? they get you. It is not, the value cannot be determined from the information given. Jolie, <clears throat> do you have an answer? Yes, I do. Uh, two. Yes, to the yes, 12th yes. power, so option A. It is option A. It is a tie game, and we're going into the last question. What is this chemical compound? I Matt memorized that. I yeah. memorized that from last time they showed it. I have a photographic memory. Perfect. I don't know what Perfect. it is. Oh, okay. I really have no idea. Well, there's four O's. There's four O's. And then a P. And then a P in the middle. Um, um, oh. Boop. 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 <laughs> That yeah. is not the correct answer. Mm. Jolie, to that's, break the tie. That's really easy, just so you guys know. Right. Ammonium phosphate. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure that that I, is the I answer? I think that's the answer. Yes, it's oh, for sure the answer. answer. Jolie, you are our winner. Charlie and Matt, what? you guys are not it smarter a, than a fifth grader. It was ammonium a phosphate. We're going to give you the point, Jolie. A three, two, victory from the fifth grader. And we'll see you in the final round. We're going to come back from break here in a second, and we're going to have all of our winners from our contest. We have Mike Neckers, Jolie Santiago, Austin Klaus, and Alex Brooks, all the winners. will join us right here, and we'll see who will be crowned the last Laker right here on WTOP 10. I had a good thing going until my GM accused me of stealing from the equipment closet. Better call Sharamita. I had a good show until I apparently swore on air. Now I got life without parole. Better call Matt Sharamita. I'm Matt Sharamita. Did you know that you have rights? The Constitution says you do, and so do I. I believe that every man, woman, and child is innocent until proven guilty. And that's why I'm here for you, Oswego. Hey there, I'm Al Roker, class of 76. Yes, way back in 76. Back when the earth was cooling. You're watching WTOP. <laughs> Thank you.
The Kinda Late Show with Chloe and Anna. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Kinda Late Show with Chloe and Anna. Like licorice, Twizzlers, absolutely nasty. The thought of turkey is just nauseating. I, I think can't. you're wrong, is what I think. You think I'm wrong a lot of times. I do think you're wrong a lot. When you look at the number of disasters in the U.S., chances are every area will deal with some kind of emergency in the next decade. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. Put the keys down, Kevin. But I'm gonna drive home. There are several warning signs present that you shouldn't be driving. I guess I have really been looking for love in this dating app. Yep, I'm definitely gonna call a ride home. And welcome back to the Sherm Viver special of The Last Laker. We're only, I'm caught on the chair here. Oh, I thought that was gonna be way cooler, man. And we're, welcome back to the Sherm Viver special of The Last Laker, where only one person will be crowned tonight. Tonight's finalists are here, all the way to my right, Jolie Santiago of the JK show, that was just the other night, yeah. and the winner of our, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Yeah. Right here, we have Mike Neckers of Unplugged, winner of the Tug of War, Austin Klaus of Entertainment Breach, winner of the Great Laker War, and all the way over here, the winner of the Escape Room from Stick to Sports and Port City Rising, Alex Brooks. Now guys, there can only be one winner tonight. Three of you are going home. Are you, are you okay over here? Chris, it, why did he actually have to die? He's still recovering. Well, um, Try to give him advice. we're gonna come over to Jolie. I want to get away from you, uh, Jolie. Okay. How do you? I'm still stuck on the chair. I'm gonna go there. It's gonna be okay. How are you feeling about your chances to win tonight? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, this guy's crying. You just won tug of war, and he kills people. So I feel like I'm good you here. Have it I'm good over here. Someone goes to you. Yeah, I feel like your chances are pretty high. You know, we got a lot of guys that kill people over there. He's mourning a loss. Stay away. He, only, he didn't even win the chicken the tender contest. Mike, yeah. do you feel like that's affecting your chances? I, 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 I have been thinking about that. It's been okay, stuck in my head ever since. This? But to be fair, your tenders were smaller than mine. You could have thrown it away. This is true. This is true. We'll see if the audience at home has put that into consideration. <laughs> Alex Brooks. Yep. Yeah. You killed off your friends. All of them, actually. Yeah. And you won the final battle in the escape room. Yep. Was it worth it? Oh, it definitely was. Um, it, it really was. Um, if I can be the last Laker, that is my last thing before I graduate, it's gonna be the best thing ever. Well, we'll see. The vote is in, and I have news that the audience at home has voted between Jolie, Mike, Austin, and Alex. I'm caught. <laughs> they made a vote for the last Laker. And I will announce that winner really soon. The winner of the last Laker is one of these people here at the podium. The winner. What's going, on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Is it me? Why is it me? All hail Sheremita! All hail Sheremita! Was it me all along? All hail Sheremita! 